I wanted to share something with you that a friend of mine posted. And after looking at this in more detail, I had to share this with everyone. And in case, if you're wondering why is there a shadow following on one side of my face and the other side is clearly seen, this is done on purpose and actually it has to do with what I'm about to show you. So just take a look, you see my eye, my nose, my cheekbone, the way the face is structured. And uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So let's open up our browser. And in here, we'll go to NASA's official website, nasa.gov. And in the search here, let's type in Mars. Here, Mars rover images. And we'll click on this result here, images of Mars and all available satellites. Let's scroll down. And we're going to take a look at this image that was posted on February 3rd, just about six days ago, of the Mars Exploration Rover. Let's click on it. So we'll take note that uh, it does say here that this view combines several frames taken by the Mars camera. Let's click on this image. Now we see we, it's an image of the valley, we see a bunch of rocks here. But let's zoom in. And let's take a look a little closer. I'm going to scroll to the right as we see rocks rocks whoop now look at there look here it's the head of a broken statue look at that now if you look around you'll see that there are a bunch of broken rocks all over the place let's just see just this way you'll see that you will not see anything like this around in this image. More of the valley, more rocks. The other rocks, they basically look like rocks. But this one specifically looks exactly like a head of a broken statue. Now to me it's amazing to find something like this on NASA's official website uh, which tells me that they probably didn't catch it themselves and didn't blur it out before posting it. Knowing NASA either they didn't notice this or the person releasing this wanted this to be known on purpose. One way or another this is amazing because to those researching about Mars it's no surprise that a statue like this is there and also don't be surprised if you see leaked images of bases on Mars in the future as well. Now, I know that for some of you, an automatic psychological system may turn on, and you will try to quickly disregard this as just some sort of a natural rock formation. We've been conditioned and programmed to be in the comfort zone of our beliefs, and when anything comes to challenge them, in order to avoid of experiencing the fear of the unknown, or of something they can expand or change our perception of our reality, this, def this self-defense system, this self-defense program basically kicks in. And it kicks in like a heavy narcotic. And really this is one of the fundamental mechanisms that keeps us hooked into the system. A system that keeps us enslaved and at the same time it's a system which thrives because we keep it powered. Interesting, isn't it? So let's get out of that comfort zone and uh, let's take a look at this image closer in Photoshop. So here I already have it opened. Now let's zoom in 
and find this image. Where is it? There it is. Now take a look at this. Now look how perfectly the eye is formed. The nose. The cheekbones. Look how perfectly this all this is all shape. You can even see the bra the eyebrow. This looks exactly like a statue. And if you remember the point when I first started um, making this video, when I asked you to pay attention to my face where shadow is falling on one side so you can't see it, on the other side is clearly seen. This is a clear example of the same thing here. It's evident that this is a statue. And uh, in fact, the statue reminds me of uh, those old Egyptian statues. And well, let's take a look and search for those Egyptian statues. I'm going to type in Egyptian statues. And let's see what comes up. Let's look at it. If we, let's see if we can find some common resemblances here. Yeah, here's an idea. Quite similar, right? Let's find some more. I'm just going to open these up in new tabs and then we'll look at them individually. I'm going to select the ones that look similar to this statue found on Mars. Oh, this one looks great. So let's, look at, let's take a look at them in more detail. This one looks like it has a missing nose. This is a perfect example. Look at this. What does it say? Egyptian pharaoh statue to spend 10 years in New York. Okay, so take a look at this and this. You get the idea. There are, of course, differences in the statue itself. But this is what this, this head reminds me of, this type of statue. Anyways, uh, you get the idea. Oh yes, by the way, I wanted to mention another thing. This is in case, uh, for those of you that will be observing this image in more detail yourselves, I wanted to mention something here. For those of you that know Photoshop and um, have seen on images, that are called photoshopped images, quote unquote. In case you're wondering, what are these clone stamp looking lines here? You can see you can see these lines like re uh, repeating lines right here, right here, right here. It looks like they've been basically cloned and stamped. Therefore, the name of that clone, the famous clone stamp tool in uh, Photoshop, which is right here. Now. Um, in case you're wondering what these clone stamping looking lines are, uh, now this is not necessarily clone stamps, but they can actually be the effect of images being clustered together. Now, remember that NASA put this whole panoramic image together from a bunch of pictures. So this can be the effect of that. Uh, you can get this result also on your smartphone. Uh, for those of you that have a uh, panoramic pictures program, um, or a setting in your uh, photo program on your phone. It's basically a program where you can take a bunch of pictures all around you and then once you click on done the program on the phone puts all of those pictures together, that whole entire cr cluster that you took of pictures into one whole 360 degree image. And uh, if you played around with those pictures you'll notice that you'll see that common 
artifacts that kind of look like clone stamps because you're putting a bunch of pictures together. So the same picture one on one, it will create an artifact of something looking like a clone. So such artifacts will also show up in those pictures as well. And this is why um, this is what to me this uh, image here looks like. It's basically just a uh, an example of a cluster. At least this is what I think. Anyway, this is some amazing evidence straight from the source of those that are in charge of maintaining a reality of us being alone, which is quite ironic and a sign of a shift in tide. So um, please feel free to analyze this image yourself. It's right there on NASA's website, and also I'll post a link to this image right in the description box. So take care and be conscious.